depending on how you are analyzing and defining culture, see, I think that's the problem. That's why I said framing the issue. Frame, yeah, you see, because I'm just giving me, a general. Yeah, to, me, yeah. it's gotta be, to, to me, it's got to be issue oriented. That's right. why. That's why I always say that let's unite around this issue. We get the cops off of our necks. Right. See, because when we, to, to me, when we see. We have to understand that our blackness is something that was given to us, Granted. put on us, you know, and framed not by us, but by the other. Well, well, did, okay. wait, 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 wait. And did they are always, they are always to a certain extent going to have a hegemony in that because every time we ride, try to really be fine, what they're going to do is they're going to say, no, it's this. Exactly. You see, well, that's what I said. Want. That's why I said, what is the context? Well, see, the context yeah. has to be struggle. The yeah, context, yeah I agree. It, you know, and see, and so the, you know, it, it, see, if, if the struggle is the thing that's focused on, then the issue of whether or not I like John Coltrane and you like James Brown is immaterial. I guess I, I agree it's absolutely that. immaterial. Pan Africanism is the struggle within that context. It is one, we can have many struggles, many ideas of, within that context of racism in the form of white supremacy, Pan-Africanism becomes one of the context for struggle. Now within that, because there is no one definition as you know of what Pan-Africanism, right. we got to sort that shit out. But within that context, if the context, this cat in the room, uh, what's, uh, uh, who wrote the book, um, I'll pull out the article, white cat. And we don't even have to agree with her. I think it's Shreba or whatever it is who wrote the book. How whites frame the issue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. goes into this whole idea of Pan Africanism. If we truly understand it, define it, work out the issues you're talking about, becomes a mode of attack. We don't have to agree with all of the things in what we call Pan Africanism. Just what you're saying before, but it is a way of focusing. Culture can also be that. And in fact, uh, Sloan. Sometimes culture is far more powerful than race. I, oh, sure. You know? No, 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 oh, as, you, know, you see a, what I'm saying? As a culture yeah, revolution, yeah, I have to Far more powerful. And, oh, sure. So, but then, again, you have the same functional problem because culture is taking place within the context. Now, how do we, no matter what Diop says, and he was correct, at least in my analysis, about his analysis of culture, no matter what Diop says, the practical reality of how all of this is playing out it's within a particular context, and therein lies part of our problem. I don't disagree with anything that Ron says, because it's a part of what Blyden had talked about in 1850. Okay, but and others. Okay, let, right. me, let, let, me, let me do something. Mm -hmm. Let me do something to knock both no, you no, off. No, 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 I have to, uh, let, okay, let, me do, let me Both of us off the bench. No, no, right. this, is, this is, because it's just developing with me, I'm right. trying to get myself in this thing. Right. Okay. Let me just say something very controversial. I'm not agreeing with Pan-Africanism. Not in that, don't get, I agree with you that. You don't have to. Just say, right. just let, let, me, let me finish, finish. Yeah. let me finish. Chill. Right. I'm not agreeing <laughs> with Pan-Africanism yeah. as, as people talk right. about it. it. Being in Africa since 2003, and, and before then, coming right. to synagogue, door, no return, right. having a spiritual experience with that, and all the rest Sloan, of the stuff. I've been stuff. everywhere. Yeah, you, you know, know that. Gory, I lived in synagogue. Yeah. I, I, I got you. I look at things like, like say the Serengeti, the animal, the movements of the, of the animals. You know okay. what I mean? You have you have, you have you have some animals that come to this watering hole at a certain time. Then they have to leave. Some other come to you. Then you have the lions you're preying on the wildebeest, whatever, or the gazelles, whatever. And, but you have these. You have basically, if you look at them as as tribes or as cultural movement coming through the same area, but at different times and doing different. And, and because they come through a certain time, they do certain things. They, there was this guy that called a lot of elephants, and then he, to his regret, he said, "I shouldn't have done that," because he realized that when they, when they come and they put and they eat certain things and they put their poop down and, and as a, as a herd, they stomp this this stuff into the into into the into the into the, into the ground. And then then it, 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 the desert disappears because they're, they're they're doing certain things. What I'm trying to say is you have these if you have cultural tribes even come to certain. In other words, Pan Africans should be a thing that can move almost like continental wise, but almost like globally. Like it, it, you have a certain thing you 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 move your your your, your tribe your your interest moves into a certain thing, you you, you, uh, you ferment the land a certain way, then another group can come and, fer and, 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 and deal, with, deal with it a, a different way. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that we're so in our heads about stuff that that, that because you see me doing something at a, at, a, at, a, at a certain watering hole, I'm gonna say that's wrong for you to do it that way at the watering hole, and then we're fighting about. I don't about think Ron and I are saying that. Okay, well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, no, now, I, I, I know I'm not saying that. Right, because I know the I'm thing, not. Yeah. The thing I'm saying is, I have people saying, I have people telling me mm -hmm. that 
there's something unblack about the fact that I like The Walking Dead. Mm. The TV show, The Walking Dead. Nothing I'm black. What about. has nothing to do with the other? You're it, the blackest it, motherfucker I've ever seen. I think <laughs> right. I, what has absolutely nothing to do right. with the other. Right. You know, see, I went through. See, but, but, see, see, I went through stuff in the late '60s with brothers and sisters who, like, were out in Brooklyn at the East. You know, the cultural nationalists and everything. You know, who, you know, I got to get my head together. I got to get in touch with my natural black self. Well, you go on ahead and do that, okay? And I'm not gonna, ha I'm not gonna argue with you about that. We're gonna agree on some things, but see, I don't do not judge me, okay? Because I like one of the most powerful things that that I came across in, in you know in my life was when I started hanging out with the Fadi Shakur, I think I told you this, yeah, yeah. after the whole Panther thing was over, okay, we hooked up again. And, uh, and, 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 Tupac's mother. Tupac's mother. Yeah. See, I never knew Tupac, <laughs> but I knew her, his mother real well. I knew a Fadi real well. Okay, I met a Fadi in uh, I was 68. Was here. I told the same. Okay, him. you know, and then I and we went through the Panthers, and she got arrested, you know, with the Panther 21, everything, got out, you know, we ran together. Then I, uh, we, lo we, went, we lost uh, touch, because I got, I was still the Panther, I got transferred to Boston, and then we hooked up, I came back, you know, and uh, she had left by then, and we hooked up again in the mid-70s. Um, never forget, going over to Fanny East, uh, she, at that time she had an apartment down in the West Village. And I'll never forget her telling me how deep she was into Peanuts, you know, Charlie Brown. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. still like in this, I think I told you this, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, still yeah. in this thing, yeah. you know, about Charlie Brown, the revolution, yeah. you know, like Malcolm X, you know, and you know, with the whole idea, I'm just saying, what's the matter with Charlie Brown? What's the matter with Lucy and Schroeder and Linus and Big Ben? Talk about Charlie Brown. And it was Ron. years later right. that that clicked to me and I said, what the, the fact that one has nothing to do right. with the other is exactly the point because the sister's in a struggle to be a rounded person right. and that she could take one one of you know one from column A, you know, one from column B, something that's in a column and appreciate, B, and appreciate shit. Exactly. Yeah. And a, exactly. And exactly. We remember really? uh, 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 Anthony, I know I don't know if you recall this. Even when we were pledging back in the days, Ron knows about pen and scroll and menacing and all that. Mm -hmm. I had problems even on the line, Rob, because believe it or not, well, not believe it or not, you would appreciate this. I like the music of the Beatles. I like Beatles too. You know, <laughs> I couldn't run. You know, I couldn't say anything. People telling me, you, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. You couldn't say anything. I couldn't say anything. You couldn't say anything. Mm. I couldn't say anything. Even on the line, people like Alpha, you know how close I was with Alpha John. Mm. I mean, people were, I mean, they were dogging me out. The dean of the line was himself a Pan African nationalist. Mm. See, you know, see, see, and, see, and he didn't go this out. But see, yeah, you know, I was gonna say, so it speaks to what you were talking right. about about regionalisms and differences right. and everything. We act as if all of us grew up and were totally, in, in, you know, raised up and enculturated in the same little, you know, Incubated. village yeah. about yeah. that big, somewhere right. isolated from everything else that's happening in the world. I went to, I went my public education, uh, my K to twelve education was white. From the time I was ten years old, mm -hmm. from I went to a black all black school right PS 157 right 127th uh, Street. Right. Did you say, maybe, Lincoln too? From yeah, yeah, yeah. He, from he's from, from, K, to, there, from yeah. K to three. Right. Fourth grade, <clears throat> the fall of 1961 was the first year that New York City bust kid elementary school kids. You know, K to six. Mm -hmm for school integration, okay? They started doing it in the late 50s for high school. Then they did intermediate school, but fall 1964 was the first year they bust, you know, um, elementary school kids, you know, for uh, school, to integrate the schools. And so I went from, you know, from Harlem, living in Harlem, up to Washington Heights, you know, mm -hmm. uh, for fourth grade. Um, my education from fourth grade to 12th grade was Lily White. I went to a private school on the west side for 7 through 12, you know, West 89th Street, nothing but white kids. I grew up with liking the Beatles, liking the Stones, liking, um, you know, early metal, you know, uh, right. Deep Purple, you know, Black Sabbath, mm -hmm. um, Led Zeppelin, and all of that. Okay, that's a part of me. That's who I am. Mm. Okay, that's a part of me. Mm. It doesn't make me, le doesn't make me no less black because... It doesn't make me less black. Exactly. But see, what you have done and what many of us have done, but a whole lot of us haven't done, you can you can still be human. You can still transcend the mundane and appreciate the human endeavor, so to speak. The things that all humans can produce and still be strategic and understand what the struggle is about. 
many of us did not understand that. I'm not even sure if, you know, again, uh, G2 was a friend of mine. You know, gentlemen, but see, was yeah, talking about that. See. I'm not even sure that someone as advanced as G2 was, because I heard G2 say some things back in the days at the East, you know. I'm not even sure at that point in our development, even someone like G2 could understand that at that particular point in time. But I was totally isolated. I could not. Yeah. I mean, people were dogging me, boy. Yeah. You like the Beatles? What the f- you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, people let, were, let, let, let me say yeah. on the culture thing, you, you think right. you have... I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a certified cinephile. When I say that, I mean from, from in the early, early days. When I ran away from home at nine years old, I ran to the Bronx Theater, <laughs> the Bronx Movie Theater, and sat there waiting for it to open, right. and the cop took me home. Um, and, and for instance, I can give you a thing. You, you know the D.W. Griffin's uh, movie, The Birth of a Nation? Yeah, of course I saw that. that. And, everybody knows and by the way, they're doing a remake. Yeah, you know, I, right? I know. Yeah, We're yeah, not yeah. a remake. Yeah. That, that's a yeah. re, uh, it's a, they just appropriate the title. Uh, 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 well, I don't know what's in it, but I mean, it's a title. No, it's a title, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's about the, uh, the, the revolt. Uh, it, it's the same thing that the West Space did, Birth of a Race. No, no, well, well. Be sure. Nate Park is doing a net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing a show. It's what the Catholic Church used to do, you know, they go someplace and they, there's, there's a spiritual place and then they put their church right on top of the spiritual place. Right, right, right. right, yeah, right, yeah, so, yeah, right. But really, I'm bringing a birth from nature. Should you say that? Everybody's like, yeah, the racist, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going like, no, but you don't understand. I'm a cultural person. I understand what happened. That should true that. But that was a popular book. Remember that filmmaker? The Klansman, made, right? Yeah, made it from, yeah, the, from the book. Yeah. And not only that, he got so much, but he was got such conscious about it. His next film after that, believe it or not, was then called Intolerance. Intolerance. Yeah. I've seen Intolerance. Yes, I have too. Now, now if you, you can criticize uh, the thing, you can say, and that's true. Mm -hmm. But you have to say, but, but, you, but you can't come down on D, well, you can't come down on D.W. Griffith like right. that. Sure. Now, when I when I look at things like, for instance, if I say, what's the most revolutionary film you've ever seen? And people say, oh, you know, Z, or they'll, they'll say, or, or, or they'll say, uh, 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 the Battle of Algiers, or something like that. I said, you know, the most revolutionary film that I've ever seen that 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 speaks to folks is Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. <laughs> I can and see people, why you say and that. People would go like, "What are you talking about?" But if you look at The Birds, it is a perfect film on revolution yep. about you know, how it starts, the, 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 even to the point where. Uh, the the birds at the end let the humans go go free and that's that's a black thing because mm -hmm. black mm -hmm. people will they they they'll, they'll say okay we we won the battle like almost like American Indian you know we, we won the battle we let you just go and you can get a car and go away yep you just just go go away so it's those kind of things that 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 I look at that we're so grooved into being uh, correct or being like I gotta win this flag or whatever they they've got to do that they miss the entire point of to be human. Mm -hmm. or, I, or I guess just to, to be yeah, to be human, to be universal means you have to be universal, and you you almost have to take things from other and put it together for yourself, for your own personal liberation. And I don't think that we have well, to see, that. Let me, like that. Let, me give you, let me give you another side of that. You know, um, my uh, my fifteen year old, uh, I, I had to stop on. Alia? That's I, Alia, yeah, yeah, I had to stop on the stop on oh. to get her oh. white converse. She oh, okay. ripped up her converse. Okay. Um, How much you pay? Two hundred dollars for? No, no, fifty four right? bucks. Oh, white converse is doing okay. the old old kid. The old Chuck Taylor. What I'm saying is this, you know, Alia, um, what, you know, the um, the Neptune public schools are are, are horrible, and so they um, Neptune, New Jersey. Al no, Neptune, New Jersey. No, uh, uh, public school horrible. <laughs> so I had to send my uh, my little one to. Uh, she went to uh, Sisters Academy, which is a Catholic girls' school in Asbury. You know, for five, six, uh, f five, six, seven, and eight, and then she's going to Red Bank Catholic. Mm -hmm. Okay, for high school, and um, you know, there's like that many black kids in, uh, you know, in Red Bank Catholic, and so she's got this little friend. She got a friend, Madison, a white girl, you know, white exact Protestant girl, lower, you know, middle class and everything. You know. And um, I uh, just at the end of uh, the last Friday and uh, the last Thursday in June, I took um, Alia, my daughter, um, her friend Madison, and then my niece, my uh, my um, wife's sister's uh, daughter, lives in Brooklyn, to Coney Island. And so we were, uh, so after we came back from Coney Island, spent a day in Coney Island, we came back from Coney Island, went back to my um, niece's sister, to my sister-in-law's house, and uh, she had, you know, like a uh, breadfruit, you know, and two different things, pound of plant, and yada, 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 you know. And what it is, is you can't get, I can't get my daughter, okay, who's raised in a black household, who, you know, and even though she's, you know, adopted, she's biracial and everything, she like identifies as black, she doesn't consider herself mixed, you know, she considers herself black, like it thinks black. Can't get out of here to go anywhere near the breadfruit. 
this hey. white girl Madison came, said, let me try that and everything. Uh -huh. Bitter bread food. Right. Oh, I like this. Can I take some home? We're on uh, New Jersey Transit, yeah. okay? Going, coming back to the shore. Right. And I'm looking over it because Allie is sitting over the other side of the aisle with Madison. And Madison is looking around, going to her purse, getting the breadfruit, <laughs> chomping on the breadfruit. Yeah. You can't get Allie to sit in my black door to sit in the same room right. with yeah. a piece of breadfruit. It may be some racial memory of that because, you know? <laughs> because that's the whole thing about mutiny on the bounty. Yeah, I, I know, know that. They were going for the breadfruit right. and they realized but, that the slaves weren't going to but, eat but, the breadfruit. But you listen to the Caribbean. You listen to the Caribbeans, right. and they say, God bless Captain Bly. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, because breadfruit, right. you know, is the bomb. Right. On the other side, when I met when I met my wife, I told you, you know, I married this girl, this girl from St. Vincent. You know, when we met, you know, one of the things that her test of, she never dated a black American man. One of the things that her thing, she was going to put me through a cultural thing. She wanted to see if I could tolerate her cooking. So the first time she cooked for me, she did the callaloo, she did mm -hmm. oxtail, she did cow foot, she did, you know, breadfruit, yada, 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 you know, the big, you know, uh, uh, my peas and rice, everything, you know, and threw all this stuff on a plate, and I'm like chowing down, and she's like, well, your, your mother must have got you switched.